what's up guys the awesome bison here welcome back to another video today we are back here yet going on blocks work and the halloween update for 2024 has just dropped so this is an absolutely insane update and it has been split into multiple parts so today i'll be covering part one part two will be coming out actually tomorrow and then part three will be coming out a week after that on the following thursday so of course this is version 0.13.1 as you can see in the top right hand corner here and let's go ahead and go back over to the main menu to go ahead and view the full update logs. Alrighty, here we are on the official update logs, version 0.13.1 as previously stated. We do have a little welcome paragraph walking us into the Halloween slash fall season. So you can go ahead and read that if you'd like. And as far as the changes go, the Plenty of Pumpkins Orchard Farm is back, of course, which where I was just at. They re-added the fall and Halloween locations in the town, as well as decorations, of course. They re-added the Boba Tea Shop, and they added new fall and Halloween themed decorations, foods, and animatronics for this year, brand new. New medieval themed furniture items in build mode. They added trick-or-treating. They added an exclusive Halloween event currency tickets, which is kind of like a little controversial. We'll get into that a little bit later in the video. And they added quick foods as a scrollable list now, and of course, minor bug fixes instead of major this time. Usually major bug fixes, but <laughs> whatever. Um, play, and let's go ahead and head back over to the event plot. Alrighty, so here I am back at the event plot. The main new thing that's new with this update is tickets, so you can now collect tickets. This is a global leaderboard, and you can unlock a trophy if you earn 25,000 tickets, and there's also the server leaderboard. And here we have some items that are coming. This is going to come in part two, as well as this part two, and then this will be coming in part three. That lamp or light thingy and the car will also be coming in part three in just a week's time, pretty much. We also have the event store. And most of these things you could buy with tickets. But the thing is, in previous years, they were purchasable with cash. So that's why people are kind of mad that you have to like earn tickets. Um, so basically, it's like a pay to win event kind of. Kind of just a cash grab from Bloxburg basically. Now you have to like buy tickets. You could earn them by trick or treating and whatnot, but it, it does go pretty slowly. It does take quite a while to get a lot of tickets, so that's why, you know, kind of controversial. Basically, pay to win event, as I said before here, but you could buy some items with tickets if you'd like, if you didn't have them from previous years. I already have a ton of these from previous years, so I'll probably just go ahead and use those. I'll still grab a few tickets to get some of the new items, but you know, it is what it is. I guess, you know, it's fine whatever and then we have the cannon here which is 200 robux and it does rain a bunch of tickets for you to collect around this thing so once again the new tickets currency and then again this is returning here we have the barn shop the little area over here some minor changes we have like a sign here which you could read coming soon which will be coming in either like part two or part three whatever uh, this mansion has been returned as well as the stand So pretty much the same as the previous years not much has changed besides the front corner over there with the tickets shop So pretty cool Area here of course that we have next I'm gonna go ahead and make my way over to the town to go ahead and showcase the things that have been added back over there Alrighty arriving back in the town here. Of course. We have plenty of new and returned fall decorations slash Halloween decor around town here as well as the boba tea shop has returned so in this corner we have a little trailer and you could buy uh, boba tea i'm a little glitched here <laughs> Alrighty, we're back here don't know what that little bug was about but anyways if i press interact you could go ahead and buy different uh boba teas and drink them of course so very very cool next up on the update logs we do have brand new Furniture like medieval themed and fall decorations. So let's go ahead and make my way over to build mode to show that off Alrighty entering build mode here We go to decorate and we go to special first. We have plenty of returning items Some can be buy bought with cash and some With the new tickets currency for example this this was here previous years, but you could only buy it with tickets but if you do have any in your inventory it will show up as tickets, but you will still have them of course so if I bought this last year with, with cash, it'll still be my inventory. Once again, it's just it'll show up as the ticket's currency. So I have, again, like 11 of these, 21 of these that I bought from previous years with cash. 26 of those. So I'll probably just go ahead and use them instead of like buying new ones with the new ticket's currency. 
So special returning items are the ones with the little Halloween logo and anyone with the exclamation mark is brand new. Some of them will be unlocked in the future updates, which is kind of silly. I mean, if they're already in the game, like, you know, but whatever, I guess to spread it out, but build new. So first up build mode, we do have this, which can be bought with cash. This is the medieval wooden door. It's a little glitchy there, but let's go ahead and place a wall. Now that we have a wall placed, we can go ahead and place that. It's a nice medieval door, very cool looking there. And of course that can be bought with cash. It is here to stay. It's not any like limited time item. We do have a couple of pots, which will be unlocked in part two, which I will also be making a video on. So definitely stay tuned for that. I will go ahead and showcase the rest of the items. This car, which will be, be releasing in part three for 6,500 tickets. Very, very neat looking there. Then triangular fence here for medieval themes. Go ahead and place that. We have a swallow tailed one, different variants of the fence here. We have this step tapered. Again, just different variants, different variations of the fence. Super cool. We have a rounded one. Gonna go ahead and place that behind. And then we have the pointed one, the Merlin fence, and the basic one. So definitely like six options for you to choose from. So you can pick which fence you like and go ahead and use that. Very neat there. We have a medieval wooden port colors double door. These names are quite the mouthful, eh? But we have that pretty cool. And then we got the medieval port. Cullius. This is like the stereotypical like castle door that you would see with like the grid. Super cool that we have that now. The medieval archway, which also does in fact have to be placed on a wall. So let me go ahead and copy a wall over. Put it like that. Medieval archway. And then we have a gargoyle. So it's like a decoration here. Pretty neat. And then we have a large stage lift. Is this? No, this is from the last update, I reckon. Yeah, this is from the last update indeed. So those came previously. We have like a little stage theme update. It just came out like a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago or something like that. So yeah, that's not with this update, but still pretty cool. Oh, we have a ticket booth window, which is probably from the last update, I think. Because it's like stage theme, so I'm assuming it will be from the last update, but let me just place that just in case. That's pretty nice to have in Bloxburg though. I did not uh, notice that. Very, very neat. And then we have a unicycle, which I reckon is also from last update. Yeah, it should be from last update. It's blocks books anyway, so I'm not going to go ahead and buy that, but still cool nonetheless. Uh, so as far as decorations for Halloween, we do have a ton here. Some of them are locked, which we'll be releasing, as I said previously, part two and part three. But let's go ahead and just run through them here really quickly, and I'll go ahead and show them in further detail on those update videos, respectively. So first up, ghost candles, which will be unlocked in part two. Then we have this neon sign for part three, this bat neon sign for part three, this neon sign again for part three. This will be unlocked in part two, the archway here. This will be unlocked in part two, a ghost pillow. Part three, the ghost pot. Part two, the pumpkin pot. We kind of releasing them a week away from each other, <laughs> the different variations. We have the stool for the last update. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was the last update because of the fairy tale. They still have some items from last update or previous updates that are still in the menu, of course. I'm going to go ahead and skip over those. I'm pretty sure they're from last update. Uh, this one will be unlocked part three. This armor, pretty nice, like medieval Halloween themes. Uh, wooden barrel. I'm pretty sure this is from this update here for medieval theme furniture. Pretty nice. We have this medieval chair. We have this medieval long table then we have the car as i said previously part three then we have this part two bat mat this is part three roof support part three shelves part three napkin holder and then some wooden chests which are already been released i'm pretty sure this is like medieval furniture it's pretty nice there uh we have this table candela bra thingy it's like a lamp or candle i guess that's what i meant to say pretty nice uh, medieval uh some coffin looking thingy <laughs> uh this i already showed then we have a couple of locked items part two part two part two part two 
and then part two yeah all, all of these items will be coming around noon eastern time i'm pretty sure so just in a few hours time at the time of this recording so those are some nice new items here we have some part three oof coffin standing coffin these coffins were previously in the game but they were horizontal so now they're vertical which is pretty cool uh little stage lights and all of this stuff is from previous updates so that's pretty much it as far as build known, some just a few new medieval items and some Halloween items which will be coming in the coming weeks, tomorrow and the coming week really, because this update did come out pretty much almost a week ago. So yeah, if you go to decorate special, once again you could buy all the items from previous years. I'm not going to show them because I showed them when they came out. You can go ahead and check out like previous videos or whatnot if you want to see them, but nice new Halloween items. So with that being said, I'm pretty sure the last aspect of this update that I did not cover is trick-or-treating. So we're going to go ahead and grab my car, or my go-kart rather, and go ahead and show how trick-or-treating goes. And actually, after trick-or-treating, I'm going to go ahead and show off the food, because there's new foods in this update. Trick-or-treating is pretty simple. You just go up to someone's plot. Everyone has this by default, and I'm pretty sure like, you can't remove it. It's part of the game. And you just press claim, and you will get a small amount of tickets. That time, I got 25 so pretty cool and there's a cooldown between people's houses yeah so this house five minutes i'm pretty sure i could go to another house and claim it all these plots are empty for sale is this one empty no this one's not empty over here so you just go up to the mailbox thingy actually where is it yeah i reckon it hasn't loaded in okay yeah i'm pretty sure that one hasn't loaded in across the street or like i can't find it but anyways this one is loaded in here so i just claim and I did get 25 tickets, and I cannot claim for another 5 minutes. So there's a 5 minute cooldown of IRL time, of course, per house. And then if I go back to my house, I obviously can't claim anything from my house. But if someone trick treats from your house, you do gain 10 tickets. So that is very, very nice. So you will get like passive income of tickets, basically, if people trick treat at your house. So it's pretty cool. So definitely two ways to gain tickets. And lastly, if we go to take quick meal, it's a scrollable list rather than a little like menu that's been like a little multi-stage menu for like the longest time ever so pretty cool so as far as the new halloween items i'm gonna see if i can find any we do have the classical candy corn which is just like a bag pretty neat you can place that go back to quick meal i do have the ghost shake which i actually need to place a blender for so i'll go ahead and do that after i close the fridge there i'm gonna place a blender real quick all righty now that i have a blender blender placed excuse me i can't talk uh i'm gonna go ahead and get that shake spooky vanilla milkshake blend that and i'll let you guys know when it's done I'm gonna go ahead and garnish this real quick all righty it is now done and that's how it looks super super cool spooky vanilla milkshake and this is limited time only of course so definitely let's make sure like stock up on those and whatnot Going to the main foods though, we do have some returning items such as pumpkin cookies, ghost cookies, and pumpkin macaroons are returning, Halloween cupcakes also returning, spooky cake pops returning, brownies, cake, both returning items, and the only new item that we have with the red exclamation point is witch hat cookies. I'll go ahead and bake these and I'll let you guys know what they look like when they're done. Here they are, those cookies almost took as long as to bake them in real life, it took a couple of minutes, but... Nonetheless, they look pretty cool. These are the witch hat cookies. So they're basically cookies topped with like witch hats, <laughs> as the name might suggest. Very neat. Once again, limited time items. So stock up on these three items here and any ones from previous years if you haven't already. But with all that, that's pretty much it for the update. Pretty okay update, I guess. Mainly just a controversial thing with the tickets. If they would have made the items purchasable with tickets and cash, it would have been okay because kind of an alternative method. But now you're strictly limited to tickets which kind of sucks but hopefully part two and part three bring some nice new features that will be very enjoyable but yeah that's pretty much going to have to wrap it up for today's video of blocksburg i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe as always stay safe and all right guys it's been the awesome boxing and i'll see you guys in the next video peace